Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Street Fighter 6 content that I'm here to talk about. Now, if you clicked on this video because you read the title, who should I play in Street Fighter 6? That was stupid, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Listen here. Nobody should be able to tell you who you should be able to play in a game or who you should play in a game right because that all boils down to who you are deep inside when you look at some of these videos and people are like street fire six who should you play well i recommend this and i recommend that no they're not it's it's all it's all falling on death words you know why because i don't even know you and i can tell you the most generic stuff that might pique your interest and you're like, oh, well, I guess that makes sense. I'll give you an example. Do you like playing zoners? Well, I recommend JP or Dalsum. Do you like playing grapplers? Then I recommend Zangief or Marissa. If you like that rushdown tactic, then I recommend Kami. Or I meant to say uh, Zangief and Manon. If you like that rushdown, then I recommend Kami and Marissa. Right? It's all just generic bullshit being fed to you. You need to look at this character's select screen. And you need to dive deep into all of their rich personalities. And say, what character connects with me? What character am I willing to grind out rank with? If you're not thinking that, then you're not going to have, I, I, in my opinion, you're not going to have as much fun with the game. If you don't form a connection with your character, right? It's like Pokemon. It's like Digimon, right? If Ash and Pikachu weren't homies, the, the, the show would be bad. They would be like Team Rocket. You don't want to be Team Rocket. You want to be the main character. You want to open up the game and say, I can't wait to play more Chun-Li. I can't wait to play more Jamie. Damn, Jamie's so much fun. I can't wait to play more Lily. But if you're here, just letting another human on the planet that doesn't even know you exist using you for clickbait using you for likes sure they were good at a past street fighter or maybe they were good at an arxis game you know marvel versus capcom and they go well if it was me if you like mm, if you like mid-range people then i would definitely uh i would definitely i would definitely play jury no don't play jury you know what you should do? If you don't know what character to pick in Street Fighter 6, go play the combo trials for every character. Every character, go play the combo trials. If their combos are boring, then that character's not for you. If their combos are too difficult, then their characters are not for you. If their combos are fun, that character's for you. And if you can complete their combo trials, that character's for you because that means you already got a grasp on their mechanics. And then maybe you can grow to play those characters that were hard but you thought were fun you can work your way up to understanding the game better and then play that character but you should never let anybody else decide who you want to play i am going to play manon why because i think she just looks cool and that's it i've never played a grappler before in any fighting game have i ever played a grappler but she looks cool. She looks aesthetically pleasing. Her combo routes look nice. I like the way her command grab changes. I like that she has Stun Dipper, which is what Kai had in Guilty Gear Strive, right? But who else do I like playing? I like playing Luke. Luke and Manon are nothing alike. They're not. Luke's super fun, in my opinion. And if Manon doesn't work out because I never played Manon, then I know I can go back to Luke because I have fun playing Luke. I can look at all these other characters and I have no desire to play them. None. None. Does that mean they're bad characters? No. That means they're not characters for me, which is fine. Because every character in this game screams personality. There's going to be people who rise up on each character. Making it their own character. 
Why would you not want to make your character your character and not follow in the footsteps of somebody else? The character chooses you. That's why they gave us 18 very different characters. There's 18 very different characters in this game. No characters play the same. They all have different combo routes, different meter management, different installs. It's for you to decide. What character are you going to grind the masters first before your second one, maybe before your third one? What character are you going to be like, damn, I love this character. When a new skin drops for that character, you're like, yes, the game's ain't give the macho man, Randy Savage skin again. Thank God. They gave Cammy, you know, some fucking special forces outfit. They give Marissa an actual gladiator outfit. They give Manon the Lady Gaga outfit. They give DJ fucking something badass. Because uh, DJ screams personality. He's not a Guile clone no more. He has his own shit. Blanca Chan's going to come back probably. Jamie's super sick. Guile's there. Chun Lee's super cool in this game. And you're telling me you're going to go and let somebody else decide who you should play? Out of these 18 players, you should let somebody play? No, you need to go put your own hands on it. It's like test driving a car. Don't let... Are you going to let somebody tell you? Mm, I think... I think you should drive trucks the rest of your life. Yeah, that makes sense. I think... I think you should drive sedans. You should drive Jeeps. You know, you're more of a hatchback kind of man. No! Like, dude, no. I fucking... I love driving an automatic. Or I love driving a manual. People might think I would love driving a manual, but I love driving an automatic. Let... The game's gonna come out soon. And you need to figure out who you want to play. And that's fine. Take the first week to figure out who you want to play. Right? It's possible I'll play Manon and I won't like her. It's very possible. I'm happy that I think I'm going to like her. But I've never played her. Maybe when I do play her, I'm like, oh, actually, she's like not that fun. It's, it's a little boring. I'm just going to go back to Luke. It's fine. I don't have to play Manon if I don't have fun with Manon. I hope Manon's fun. And if she's not, she's not. There's 17 other characters that... Could interest me. Maybe I from Manon, I go to DJ. Because DJ's fun. Maybe from Manon, I go to I go to Cammy. I go to JP. I go to Jamie. Or I just go back to Luke. Because I, I know Luke's fun. That's confirmed for me. I find this character super fun. Play around. Jump around. Have fun with the game. Don't let anybody else tell you who you should play. You need to figure that out. Because then you have formed a connection which will make you better with the character. Because you want to see your character win. Now, if you're a person that just goes for top tiers. I don't know if top tiers are going to be a thing in this game. I don't. Why? I want now, Royo, are you fucking dumb? Gaio is broken. Gaio, dude, in the second beta, I had a 90% win rate against... Or the third beta, the old beta, she's had about a 90% win rate against Gaio. Because from the second beta to the third beta, everybody learned how to utilize parry more, drive rush, and drive impact. Grant, granted, they were probably crack players, but it'd be like that. Can't, you know, can't stop it. Characters in this game, there's so many in-game mechanics that allow you to win or allow you to beat any character. That it doesn't matter. The amount of moves on this are the amount of moves that are probably drive impact on reaction and you will just beat is crazy. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure when Blanca does Blanca ball, if you drive parry, drive impact at the right frame, you body him. When Dalsim does, you know, a button, a long range button and you drive impact and it crushes him, probably destroys him. E Honda, when he does headbutt, if you drive impact, I think they actually showed that, unless you do it quick enough, I think he bodies you. 
JP, if you parry enough, you probably are going to be fine from his zoning. Because, you know, zoning is, is weak against parry. That's why Luke's really good, right? Because Luke's uh, Sandblast Light can bait parries. There's so much mind games in all these characters. So just do me a favor. Please go out there. Be safe. Pick a character that you thoroughly enjoy. And have fun with Street Fighter 6. Because the game is only the start. The true battle begins within yourself and that character's live stream. Hopefully you like the content. Make sure to subscribe button, comment down below. Leave a like. I'll see y'all again next time. See ya!